Our last three days of traveling. This is our little home. We're actually pretty tired now. I mean, we technically have been backpacking since Christmas Eve. You know, puts in a little bit of wear and tear on your circadian rhythm and you know everything that likes to have habits and regulation in your body. I'm uh, just gonna make the best of this last little leg of the trip we have. I just went to the store um, and bought a frozen pizza. I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck. I can get a slice of pizza from a restaurant for probably about $3.50, but this whole box was probably $2.79. This trip, to Italy is all about being on a budget. It's day two and we're about to go visit the Duomo. Um, and of course, step number one is buying a metro ticket. Public transportation in Italy is much easier than it was in Brussels to get like an all day car. So we're going for the one day ticket, which is only four euros and 50 cents. And it takes you all throughout um, Milan. Entrance to the Duomo is a pretty little four euros. Going to the top is 11 euros. So it's not like Paris where your student card will get you up there for free. So we opted to pass it and just go ahead um, and take pictures from the outside because it's just as beautiful. So FII, there are dozens of photographers. Hey girl! Dozens of photographers out here uh, at the Duomo taking pictures of people with these terrible birds. I hate birds. Like, oh, that was bird shit. That was shit. It just shit. Oh, God. Maya? Ah! Nope. Yeah, ma <laughs> yeah. It's not for me. Take them. Um, and they're charging up to five euros per picture. Vinny Qua. Sorry. Look. No. Why? Do not be afraid to haggle. Young Keevan over there haggled her price down and now we're getting our photos two for five. And they're printing them and sending them to our phone. Aww, you cute girl, you cute. It takes like a hundred tries with you models over here. <laughs> One done. Now you guys, it's time to eat. We are going to the ever famous Luini's where the line is literally down the block. but. They say you can't do the line without having Luigi's. There's nowhere to sit in Luigi, so we're basically eating on the go. That's why everybody's out here just congregating, really. Thank God it's not such a cold day in Italy where I'm like freezing my fingers off. Now that we have food out of the way, it's time to look at the beautiful wonders of the city. Um, instead of booking one of those hop on, hop off tour guides or trying to walk around, I am going to use that one day pass that is good for all trains, metros and buses and take the line one and ride it basically all the way until the end. I saw a review on a website that said that it goes through a lot of different parts of the city so that it's basically a beautiful ride. So we are now right here. We're gonna ride it all the way up to the top and then take it all the way down. Much like the street cars I took in New Orleans in May, um, there is no air conditioning or heating. Be prepared for all of the temperatures.
So it's been about 45 minutes and we still have four more stops. So this is definitely worth the one day ticket. If you don't buy it one way, um, a single ticket is one euro and 80 cents. Um, and you can take it however many times you want, I believe, up to 90 minutes. But I have no battery, so I'm gonna get out of here. See y'all later for tomorrow. Another day, another grocery run. Oh, uh, this is 10 euros. 